Welcome back. My name is Zatan, and today I will show you how to use the roles so that you can use multiple pages in your role and share it with your students. This is especially useful for those kind of sums which go on into multiple pages or for bigger write-ups that go on to multiple pages. Let's start. You see, from here you can go to the role browser and we have already seen this, how we can scroll through multiple roles. Okay, let's start with a new role. I'll start writing. First, let me select the color. So, this is the color. This is page 1. And let me change the color. change the tip and it will you can see the tip is not using the older color of the smaller tip I can also change color for this now if I want to scroll through a different page in the same role I will go to this menu option and sorry it was a wrong option I can see you can see you can select this particular option where you will see different roles and let's go to the second page and in the second page I can write So this is the second page. Now let's go on to the third page. If you want to go to the third page, you have two ways. Either you go through this part or yes, you can go from here also. But right now that option is not visible because we are into this bottom roll browser. I can also select plus. This plus will create a new page in this whole roll. Let's create a new page you can see this is number three if i select that that particular page will open now i can write on to this page this is page 3 one more way I will show you how to go to another page you just click over here or just click onto this and uh, what I will do is I will go to this point ok I can scroll through these different pages from here I go here and just click onto this ok so this is the option through which you can scroll ok here also I will use it and from this particular point I can scroll it and I will go to the fourth page now just select it So we have made four pages in this particular role. You can go to this point, go into the role and you can browse through different pages of your role. I just click onto this and it will show me different pages that I have made. You can see how I can scroll through different pages of my role and now what I will do is I will save it. I will just click onto this and it will automatically save my created role and a new role will be presented to you and if you want to go to that particular role you go to role browser and now you see this is the role that we had created let's select it there is one more facility in role if you want to change 
the number of pages or swap pages. You want to bring the last page onto the first one or bring the first page onto as a second or third one. There is a facility of swapping the pages inside the role. Let me show you that. Go into this particular option and just hold this particular page for some particular time and now you can scroll it drag and drop it. there is a drag and drop facility for changing the sequence of pages inside the group so now you can see this is first page and if you scroll through it you will be able to see different pages okay so and yes, if you want to continue into this particular role, just go to the new page and start writing. You see that? That's how we create or we use the older role and how we create a new role. So it is saving right now the older role and now again we can go to the role browser and we can see how that particular role has been changed or not. You see that single particular role that we had created previously and then afterwards edited, added one more page, swapped the pages, all those things we have done has been there in one particular Row. That's it for the day. Thank you.